Louis Joseph, or currently known as Saint Mutian Marie Wio, he was the third of six children. His father, John Joseph, was the town blacksmith, and his mother, Elizabeth Bado, ran a small cafe out of their living room. The villagers were still able to enjoy their games of cards while drinking a good mug of beer with snacks even though the family did not tolerate any foul language. The Wheel family were devout and hard-working Catholics and were well-liked by the people of their community. The family would always attend Mass. The Wheel family were devout Catholics, but among all six children, Louis Joseph was the most pious. He had a remarkable attraction for religion, a deep sense of responsibility, and was able to draw out the good in those around him. As a child, he would always carry a rosary, and at some point could persuade his playmates into praying it together with him. At the age of 14, the Brothers of Christian Schools founded by St. John Baptist de la Salle set up a community and school near his home. He made a firm decision to follow the vocation he had long felt called to. A year later, at the age of 15, his father escorted him, and with the support of his family and friends, he entered the novitiate of the brothers. He was given the name Brother Mutian Marie, after an early obscure saint who had given his life for the faith, coupled with the name of the Virgin Mary. When Brother Mutian Marie became a novice, he requested to be admitted as a school brother because of his desire to instruct young children in their Christian education. His first assignment was in a primary class at St. Joseph's School in Shimei. He was under the supervision of an older, more experienced brother. He later passed the exam and on September 14, he consecrated himself to God. He then took on his new assignment as an assistant teacher for elementary students of the Institute St. Berthium. He was known to be very patient, which is one of the virtues he holds true. However, this backfired when he often lost control of his class, which almost led to him losing his position as a teacher. He later, he later developed his teaching skills in music and arts. He taught students how to play the harmonium. Even then, was he ever so patient with his, with his students. This time, his virtue was fit for his field. One of his students even stated that he never tried to appear learned. Even though he was teaching, he had the humility to allow a dynamic student-teacher learning. This is one of the virtues that he exemplifies. Other than teaching at the school he was assigned to, he was a volunteer catechism teacher for a poor village. He even secretly enjoyed doing this more than his regular assignment. Because he was such a generous man, he did not feel obliged to do what he did. His actions were all sincere. Despite being nothing but a blessing upon this world, all people must one day join the Lord. Brother Mission Mary died shortly after his 76th birthday. Though his life was not perfect, he chose to make the most out of it through his passion of teaching. Among the social realities present during his time, the most dominant would be the presence of a religious community. In his case, this community brought out the best in him since it aligned with his passion. He felt the longing of becoming a brother and teaching in this school. Behind St. Miguel, a building was named in his honor. St. Mission Mary Hall. He will continue to live in the hearts of the Lasallian community forever.